Personal Log Commander Data, Stardate 55416.1. The Kessok device was remarkably intact despite the impact of its landing and the harsh conditions of Alioth 6. If only my shuttle had held as well, I could have saved the Sovereign the trouble of my rescue. The device should provide much needed information. However, the logic of the machine itself is somewhat illogical from what I've discovered so far. An in-depth analysis should prove extremely interesting. Right, so I have restarted the uh, computer. So we will see if this is any better. But to be honest, I don't know if it isn't this. I don't know what to do. Right, I'll just quickly try this. So there is actually a quick battle mode for this game where you can just do simulations. Our ship is equipped with a tactical simulation mode. From my console, I can create simulations of ships from the Starfleet Tactical Database. Yep, um, I will show this um, later on actually, because I've got a bit of an idea for what to do which might be a bit fun. But for now, if we just uh, continue with the campaign... And, uh, well, actually quite close. This is the last uh, episode of the game. I mean, it's a different mission. It depends how many we get through. But, yeah. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. Captain, it is evident from Commander Data's report that these alien devices pose an extreme hazard to all Federation colonies in the area. We cannot maintain a presence here while these weapons exist. Therefore, your orders are to locate and destroy these devices. Admiral, the devices are mobile and capable of warp. Finding them oh. will be a challenge. Exactly for that reason, Commander, I'm extending your assignment on board the Sovereign. <laughs> you will be most helpful in finding more of the devices. Also, continue your research of Kessok technology. The more we know about it, the better. Understood, Admiral. I'm assigning the USS Geronimo and USS San Francisco yes. to your task force. Good. Captain, I cannot stress enough the importance of this mission. The Federation's hopes lie with you. You out. Incoming message from the Geronimo. On screen. We're standing by, Sovereign. Ready when you are. Good. San Francisco standing Hello. by, Captain. It's a huge area of space, Captain. Where do we start? As I pointed out earlier, Commander, the Kassuk probes emit a high concentration of anti-protons while in use. I am afraid that is the only real lead we have. Okay. Chief Brex, if you modify your sensors, you may be able to get more accurate readings in the upper EM band. The devices will only emit anti-protons while in use, so we should concentrate our search near the stars of this sector. Chief. Already on it, Commander. Done. Go ahead, Miguel. Captain, long-range sensors are picking up unusually high concentrations of anti-protons in the Reha system. Reha. It could be one of the devices. Okay. Sir, I've added the coordinates for the Reha system to the con. Well done. Yes, Captain? So let's go to the Reha system then. Course laid in. Engage. Aye, Captain. Yeah, I wonder what happened with the fame bait. That's really, um... Captain, I, I am mean, detecting anti-proton emissions near the local sun. I can't get any discernible readings, though. Can you get a more precise location? Not at this range, Commander. Not me. There's too much interference. Captain, I'm picking up two Kessok ships and a Cardassian galore. The Kessok have detected us and are moving to engage. Oh, no. The galore is remaining behind. Hmm. What's that galore up to? If we can disable them, we might be able to ask oh. that question. Red alert, shields up. Your orders, right. sir. Hail the San Francisco to attack. The Transmitting target. your new orders, Captain. Orders acknowledged, sir. In the Geronimo to attack. Sending orders. Target. So I. Orders acknowledged, sir. I will go after Galore. I'm trying to your save orders, it. Captain. Um. Okay. Intercept course plotted. The doing? bottom shield is draining, sir. Why so fast? Can I scan it? Yes, Captain. 
Initiating scan. I'm not finding anything new, Captain. Ugh. Captain, the galore has been disabled. Good. Let's come back to the galore after we finished off these Kessel. I hate that fucking torpedo. This is so annoying. Repair system. Get rid of that. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Mr. Galore. Captain, the last Kessok ship has been destroyed. Chapter B. Just in case. Your orders, Captain. Initiating target. scan. I'm not reading any life signs on board, sir. The crew is dead. Your life oh. support system might have been destroyed in the battle. Incoming message from the Geronimo. On screen. With your permission, Captain, I'd like to do the honors of putting away that Galore myself. It might be prudent to check their log. The Gull might not have had time to destroy it. Operations, Miguel. As far as I can tell, her bridge is still functional. Give us some time, Captain McRae. That ship may have some secrets to tell us. Understood, Sovereign. Linking through communications. Kiska? We have a lot, Captain. Running checks. Got it. Downloading now. Here. Okay. This should be the relevant part. It's the mission logs of their Gull, Havar. Audio only, sir. Mission log of the Kyria. We have been assigned a defensive role for one of the four devices. Four devices? And are en route to the Rehar system. Matan warned us to take every safety precaution, as the Federation has two Sovereign-class vessels prowling the sector, making a fine mess of our carefully laid plans. The logs continue, but are very broken up. It looks like the Gull tried to purge mission logs, but it only worked halfway. I'll clear it up as much as I can. Technology cannot cloak cook. Objects of this size it use the cloaking acquired from the Ferengi. After a few moderate months, successfully cloak the device. For now it is linked to our ship's own. Soon we will link it to its own power source. So the Kessok device is cloaked. That would explain why we couldn't find it on our sensors. Destroying the galore should disable the cloaking field. Should we allow McCrae to do the honors, sir? Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. Target hull integrity yes, at fifty percent. Hang on. Can I do the wrong one? Sending orders. With pleasure. We have acknowledged Summer. the command. <laughs> Captain, the lore has been destroyed. Captain, there's an object decloaking nearby. On screen. Look at that. It's the Kesak device. Captain, it's using a Romulan cloaking device. Why would the Romulans give the Cardassians a cloaking device? I assume the Cardassians acquired it from another source. The device appears to be powering up to direct a pulse of high-energy plasma directly into the sun. There are no signs of external or internal weapons. Well, that's not very reassuring. We've seen what one of these Captain, things can do. Captain, our attacks are draining the power is at 50%. Even if we don't know how it does what it does, we can just take it out. Can't we? That's the problem, Chief. I'm not sure where to lock our phasers. We can't detect any vulnerable areas. Well, that's we could increase power to the sensors. We might be able to penetrate the shielding and get a better idea of the inner workings of this thing. Okay. Yes, Captain? Sure. I think that help. Initiating scan. Scan successful. Commander Data, what do you make of this? Interesting. These scans are going to take Sir, the right analysis. shield has failed. However, I believe it is safe to destroy this device. Sure it. But aren't we risking Oops. destroying the entire system with it? I trust Commander Data's assessment. I have isolated the device's component systems. If we focus phaser fire on the warp core, I believe we can neutralize it. We're, we're Lieutenant we're Sabali, doing... I have transferred the new targeting information to you. Receive. Target hull integrity at 50%. Warp core. Ready to fire on your command, Captain. But we were doing fine without needing to know where the warp core was. Target okay. hull integrity at 25%. Maybe the game should have made it like a, a friendly. Well, not friendly, but Captain, the device has been target destroyed. First, Captain, I will update Starfleet with our current findings. 
We should continue our search. Captain, now that the device is destroyed, our scans may be able to pick up more distant anti-proton emissions. Okay. Initiating scan. But didn't it say per star? So Sir, per star I'm system. I'm picking up more anomalous readings near the Sebel Rai system sun. Okay. I think we may have found another one of the devices. I've entered the coordinates for Sebel Rai into the navigational computer. Yes, sir. Start, so Sabulai one. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Captain, I'm reading a second Kessok device. We're in luck. They didn't bother cloaking this one. They didn't have uh. to. I'm also reading half a dozen Kessok oh vessels. My God. Is there any more Cancel good news? Cancel red alert. Well, our odds are pretty slim against that many Kessok warships. Perhaps we can invade them shields long up. enough to destroy the Loading device Loading quantum torpedoes, sir. Whatever we do, we should do it fast. The Kessok have just noticed us and are turning to intercept. The heavy cruiser is staying back. They're coming at us in waves. They're locking weapons. We have to get past the defensive line. Fantastic. so many. Jesus. I can just um, intercept course. Uh -oh. <laughs> Their forward shield is draining. Uh, that's a very good defensive line you've got there. One of our um, uh, torpedo launches blew up because of a phase um, prototype torpedo I accidentally launched. So that one, that was fun. Should have been stopped at the starbase. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. So how come that other mission, the one with the um, the bug which needed a patch, how come them Kessop were very difficult? But I, I mean, look at look at them now. I, I mean, I, I'm not the one fighting them, but. The, San Francisco and the Geronimo, they are technically weaker ships. So really? Right, so we've done this one then. Uh, yeah. Your orders, sir. Solar device has been destroyed, Captain. Of course, Lady. Can we in. go now? I might not have to. The Kessok appear to be fleeing. Sovereign, the Kessok ships are warping <laughs> out of the system. With their tails tucked between their legs. Do Kessak have tails? Actually, they fought with determination until the device was destroyed. That may have meaning. But what, sir? I do not know. The Kessak are highly intelligent. There is method to their strategy. Somehow, I do not believe cowardice is their motivation. Miguel, can we track the Kessak ships? No. Sorry, Commander. The warp signatures are being masked by some kind of magnetic field left behind by their ships. All my readings are scattered. They're gone. We should continue our search. <laughs> I was maybe a bit overzealous then, but... Oh, what was that? Did you see... What was that? Did you see that? Okay. Yes, what? Captain? Sorry. Um... Your order, sir. Initiating scan. Sir, I'm getting faint anti-proton readings. I'm not sure, but they could be coming from the Belarus system. It might be worth checking out. Captain, Belarus I've again. transferred the coordinates for Belarus to the con. What I'm going to do... Yes, sir? I'm going to go down to the starbase and I'll fix my torpedo. Course laid in. Yes, sir. I might um, get the San Francisco to uh, heal themselves as well. Docking sequence initiated. Yeah, I, um, the difficulty is very weird. Um, Your chief engineer has sent us details of the damage. Our repair crews are ready to go. Captain, I apologize for the phased plasma torpedoes. Really? The research indicated they were much more stable than they actually are. Well, that's this what you get. We'll send the design team back to the drawing board. Since they did not cause critical damage, you may keep your remaining phased plasma torpedoes. 
But Captain, be careful. Liu out. Next time, test them properly before you give them to your flagship. Make sure they work. Ah. I still really like the galaxy class. It is. It's although the sovereign is nice, the galaxy is a lot more homely. Geronimo is fine, so where, where, where are we going now? Your orders, Captain. Belarus system. Right, Course okay. laid in. Engage. Yes, Captain. Yes, sir. Initiating scan. Captain, I am detecting anti-proton emissions near the local sun. Yes, sir. I can't sir. get any discernible readings, though. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Wonder how many of the um, planets in the maelstrom are actually habitable? I mean, the one of the ones at the start. Oh, what was that? I'm not picking up any contacts, Captain. But the nebula ahead oh, is so large okay. it could be hiding an armada of Kessok ships. And we wouldn't know it until we ran into them. Oh, nice Miguel, graphics. Are you certain the anti-proton radiation is coming from this system? Yes, Commander. It's unmistakable from this distance. I'd be willing to bet the third Kessok device is hiding somewhere in that nebula. We can do a pattern search of the nebula to see what we can find. Miguel, you're in the crow's nest. Commander? Crow's nest is a nautical term from ancient Earth. Translation, ancient. you're on the lookout. Oh, aye aye, Commander. Kiska, plot a course that will take us in a search pattern through the nebula. Yes, Commander. Done. Ready to enter the nebula on your order, Captain. Did you make enough points, you say? Yes, sir. Captain, I've detected a large object ahead. Is it the Kessok device? We need to get closer to identify it. It's but probably the a big fat is Cardassian station. Sir, Kessok warship ahead. Preparing Red to alert. Alert. Captain, this ship is the same heavy cruiser that fled from us at Subble Ride. And there's a solar device next to it. The Kessok is not moving. Dead in space? No, she's armed and powered. I can't detect any damage to their systems. The Geronimo is hailing us. On screen. We have a clear angle of fire on the Kessok warship, Sovereign. We can take it out. I have the Kessok ship targeted, Sovereign. Standing by. This looks like a chance to kill two birds with one stone. The Kessok shields are down. Why doesn't she do something? Really? Not being fired on is good. But suspicious. Hmm. I'm gonna keep my distance. Maybe I can... Be sneaky. Oh. Sneaky? Do this? <laughs> no, it's not moving. Kessok ship is returning fire. Captain, two Kessok lights decloaking beside right. the heavy We're in danger of colliding it's with an ambush. ship, Captain. Sweeping through phaser arcs. You're not doing a very good job protecting this, are you? Sweeping through phaser arcs. There we go. The solar device has been destroyed. We should continue our search. I'm not picking up even remote traces of anti proton Our ventral shields are draining, sir. Where is yeah. the fourth device? Since we don't have any leads, I suggest we contact Starbase 12. Reporting our status to Starfleet. Sir, Lou is we're responding. about to collide with a large mass of debris. I'm not. Relieved to see you tracked down and destroyed three of the Kessup devices, and discovered the existence of a fourth. It makes me uneasy that there is still one out there somewhere, but we have a lead on where it might be. Incidentally. 
I contacted the Romulan government to inform them we found Shields one of their cloaking devices in the hands of the Cardassians. Uh, target's hull has been breached, two Captain. Devices. There's no telling if or where the other may turn up. I'll continue your briefing when you return to Starbase 12. You out. It's a big ship, isn't it? Really? Stand down weapons. All stations, yellow alert. So I am now going to walk back, walk, bleh, warp back to Starbase yes, 12. And then start with the next mission. So uh, thank you for Course watching. Laid in. And I'll see you next time. Sir, we must leave the nebula before we can initiate warp. After we do yes, that, sir. of course, we have to follow procedure first. Sir, we must leave the nebula before we can initiate warp. Aye, aye.